Hello and welcome to AskTheCMMIAppraiser.com and CMMI TV. I'm Jeff Dalton and this week we're talking about CMMI 2.0 about to be released on March 31st, 2018. There's a lot of excitement around uh, 2.0 and we've been talking about it all week and recording videos and writing blog posts. And today we're going to talk about one of the big changes, governance. Now, those of you that have worked with CMMI over the past years know that it's sometimes pretty hard to get senior management involved, even though there's a couple of practices in uh, the generic practices and in the organizational process areas. Um, there isn't anything specifically targeted at senior management, and we've kind of extrapolated that a little bit over the years, but uh, we've always struggled a little bit with getting senior management involved. And those of you that have run uh, large CMMI level two or three programs probably know that getting senior management is um, involved is one of the hardest things that you're going to do. It's almost like pushing a rope uphill or pushing sand uphill. It's, you know, the senior management say, hey, let, let's get involved with CMMI. Let's, let's do CMMI, but I don't want to be involved myself. I, I want you guys to do it. Uh, just tell me when you get that level two or level three. Well, all that's going to change in CMMI 2.0, where there's a greater focus on governance and leadership. As a matter of fact, there's a whole new practice area called governance. And in that governance practice area, we're going to expect senior managers to really play a major role in improving the organization. In fact, um, sort of gone are the days where you can get a CMMI rating without showing improvement. The new version of CMMI is going to ensure that senior management plays a key role, that they are being evaluated in that role, and that they need to provide um, assurance and evidence that they actually are providing the resources and playing the role that they need to play to lead their team through such an important exercise as uh, changing your company with CMMI 2.0. There's also another practice area called PCM, or process management, which takes some of the concepts, I guess, from OPF and OPD, but provides practices for senior management as well. So there's these, these two process areas, PCM and, and governance, and these are used to help drive uh, leadership and help leaders understand and, and provide some guidance with what they need to lead an important program like this CMMI program. So a lot of changes coming for CMMI 2.0. Keep coming to the blog, ask the CMMI appraiser, and to this video channel at CMMI TV. And uh, we're going to be talking more and more about all the changes having to do with 2.0 coming to you on March 31st. Thanks for watching.